me. And Patty Metzger, a member of our church. As you walked into our church, saw many images. First of all, there's that new banner that showed up last week. And this week, our first member walking to the hill of Calgary. Calvary. That will change every week. It's a sober time of our year as we enter our first week officially of Lent. And as we celebrate walking into our sanctuary, we also have new looks. We have a very sober communion table, only with the peace candle and the Christ candle. And the beautiful table that Neva's put together of the steps, the path up to the cross. That is the tra trip, the journey that we are on now in Lent. And then you just can't miss those waving flags. Those waving flags that represent our commitment as a community to the Feast for the Soul, to our commitment as a community to our praying for peace in our world. So last week on the art of our bulletin, we had a yin-yang symbol that represented our theme for Lent, and the contrast between our sins and our virtues. And today, even in our visual aspect that we see, we have the contrast between Lent and the season that we're leaving our last week of Feast for the Soul, and how we embrace at the beginning of Feast for the Soul, all of the religions of the world. And we prayed a Buddhist prayer then. We prayed a, a high prayer then. We prayed prayers from all over the world. And today we see these flags. And I just want to point out something about these flags. As I was hanging them with John Mickelborg, thank you, John, Thursday night, and we ran out of string, and I really wanted them to fly across our sanctuary in their vibrant way. But we didn't have quite enough to reach to the back. And as I walked down the hallway, I saw those little flags that we made about five or six years ago when our community was on retreat at Pilgrim Furs. And we were, in fact, creating our own prayer flags some of you will remember that, down by the lake at Pilgrim Furs. And just look back at the exit sign. You just can't plan this. And John and I just smiled at each other as we saw, oh my goodness, what is the most vibrant sign that we created? It is, in fact, a rainbow peace sign. You just can't make these things up. Well, I also wanted to speak personally about this painting that I did in 19 or 18 or 2000. <laughs> OK, that was just a slip because I did start this day with a migraine as a surprise. Um, I really did this in 2000, whenever, five, about five years ago. and. It started out with this exuberant um, doing of layers with a friend of mine. And then I brought it home and just looked at it to let it tell me what it was. As I looked at it, I saw this woman appear. This is also the summer that I went to the breaking of the ground at the Buddhist uh, Pagoda up in uh, Four Peas, up in Bremerton. And I saw this woman appear, the Pilgrim 
of peace or the peace pilgrim just took a few little strokes of paint highlights and shadows to have everyone be able to see her this was quite miraculous to me and I saw this radiation symbol at the back also just took a few little strokes of paint the month after I painted this I walked the Camino and when you walk the Camino in Spain oftentimes you go with intention and the intention that I walked the Camino that year at the base of the Pyrenees my daughters and I who started they started the walk with me was um, as we stood in a circle I walked that Camino for the peace in the world so peace in our world is our work as humans on land on the earth now and I hope this image holds meaning for you it holds great meaning for me and I thank you very much for letting me share it with you today God bless us all and let us all continue to pray for peace in our world. Amen.